Welcome to Shop Factory. In this brief introductory tutorial, we're going to show you how to build a professional looking website that looks just like this. In this brief tutorial, I'm going to show you how to lay out a home page using tables and images as well as just copying some text in that I've already pre-written to save a bit of time. So on this, on this uh, home page, you'll notice I have two tables that uh, I've already put in here. I'm just going to get rid of our logo and I'm just going to quickly copy in some text into this particular cell. Now, The one good thing about uh, the Shop Factory editor is you can actually highlight text just like uh, using Microsoft Word and then you can modify the text using the tools down here. So we've already got some text in there. You also notice an image in the background of this, uh, this particular cell. I'm just going to do a quick preview so you can see what it looks like in the actual website. So uh, we can actually remove these borders, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to leave them in for the time being just to show you how uh, the whole home page should take shape. So we're just going to go into this cell now and add in an image, as well as we're going to copy in some text that goes with that image. Now you notice that it doesn't line up properly here, and that's basically because the uh, the image is set with uh, with some spacing on all sides. So we're just going to click on the image, right click on it, go down to inline picture properties, and we're going to set this down. That's the horizontal spacing and the vertical spacing, so that it aligns a little bit better. I'll just do a quick preview. So you can see what it looks like. We've already got a nice uh, layout starting to uh, take shape on our website. So in this cell, I'm actually going to show you how to insert a table. And you can actually click into the cell, go down to the icon down here, insert table, and insert a table. On this table, I actually want to have four rows with three columns to space out the content that I'm going to put into that table. You'll click into the cell, and the good thing is you can actually highlight a set of cells and then align the text that's going to be in that, uh, that cell of text or images in those cells. So we're going to center them. And now we're going to add images into each one of these cells. Just make sure we got an extra space in there. Get rid of that. We can actually put our text in here. That's going to space out our uh, cells quite nicely. So we're going to add some more images down here. And then add it in our text as well. And I'm actually just going to highlight this and copy and paste it in there to save myself a bit of time. So we'll just do a quick preview to show you what that looks like with all the tables in place. So you can see we've got uh, some more content being laid out. Now we're going to add some stuff into this cell and we're just going to use some images and text like we did up in this cell up here. I'm going to add some images. And 
Now, uh, what I actually wanted to do was to have this particular image first. Uh, so I'm just going to drag it, click on it, drag and drop, move it up there. Now, we want to change the spacing on all these pictures like we did on the uh, top one. So we're just clicking and then right clicking on the image and going to inline properties. And there we have some stuff in there. Now I'm just going to copy in. Uh, actually, no, on this cell, I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. Now, what I actually want to do, uh, which I forgot earlier, was the notice that there's an image in the background here of this cell, which you can see slightly. We're going to add that same type of image into the background of this cell right here. So we're going to right-click, go to Cell Properties, and we're going to go to Background Color. You'll see an icon here which you can use to add an image into the background of a cell. And what that does is it actually breaks up the uh, page a little bit once we get rid of all the uh, the borders within the uh, the cells themselves. So now in this particular cell we want to add another no, I don't want to add another table. I want to resize this up so it doesn't take up as much space. And this one, we're actually just going to take and quickly copy and paste the same table in here and then get rid of everything to save us a bit of time. And this cell, I want to copy in some text that I've already pre-written. And I want to highlight this, make it stand out a little bit. So we're going to bold it and raise it up in size just slightly. Now we're actually going to add another cell in here, or another table into the cell. And we're going to give it uh, two, we're just going to give it uh, one row and three columns. And we're going to add some images into this. And it's not centered, so we're going to highlight everything and center them. And we're going to add in our gift cards. Because we obviously want to have gift cards for a bookstore. Now in this cell, we're just going to add uh, Great for Young Readers. We're just going to copy in our text for feature books. Add in an image. Right click, inline picture properties, change our spacing, and there we go. So we'll just quickly do a preview, and then I'm going to remove all the borders to show you what it looks like once uh, once we remove all of the tables. Uh, you can notice that uh, we've got the background of the tables in there, and I forgot to resize this particular table, so I'm going to go back and do that and remove all the borders. I just click on the table. I'm going to right click on it. And we just size this down to zero so that we've got no border. And the same thing with this table. And now this table. And by the way, these are the same tools that a professional web developer would use to lay out a page for your website if you were paying a professional web developer to do it for you. All right click. And I think we've got it. We'll just do a quick preview and you can see the final f finished page. There you go.
So in about 10 minutes we've gone from a blank page with uh, basically nothing on it to a nicely laid out page with images and uh, product. You can actually link these so that uh, once, uh, once you've got all your, your content and stuff in you can link these images to another page like new book releases. We've also got hardcover and softcover on sale here as well as you can link these images and the text directly to products that you might have on your other pages. We'll do that next in the next set of uh, set of tutorials.